Juice. Can we take 10? Yeah. Mm. Who knew the line between photographer and babysitter was so thin? Mm -mm. Did you want the slate gray or the charcoal drop next? Slate, thanks. I come bearing provisions. Oh, no, <laughs> not the... Your favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you trying to make me bust out of these jeans. I ain't getting no complaints over here. Mm. I do deliver sweets. I got some bad news. I can't make it to your ceremony tonight. Kev. You know how short staff neurology is. Well, I'd obviously much rather be strutting the red carpet with you. You understand, right? Fine. But we're still on for later? Mm. I'm ovulating. <laughs> <sighs> All right, lovebirds. Thought this was a professional establishment. Oh, speaking of lovebirds, Kev, you have failed at your matchmaking skills. When are you going to tear out one of your surgeon friends? Tyler needs a father figure, you know. I'll work on it. Well, don't work too hard. Sorry again about tonight. What's he sorry for? He can't make it to the ceremony tonight. How does something always manage to pop up for him when something big is happening for you? His unit is short-staffed. T, give him a break. You're always giving him a break. He doesn't prioritize you, Kendra. He's a doctor, Terry. Doctor duties trump photographer duties. OK, well, your work matters, too. <laughs> Does it really? <laughs> I mean, I fell in love with photography because it means that I could shine a light on things that people forget to look at, not Take shiny photos of celebrities. Wow. That's a gross oversimplification of what you do, Kendra. I guess. Thank you. And I got you tonight. I'll be your date. What? Yeah. <laughs> mm, you're the best. Oh, don't think I'm just doing this out of the kindness of my heart. <laughs> you owe me one. Be my plus one to the Hammond fundraiser I'm organizing for a Chicago alumni. I don't know, Terry. Why not? You worried it's going to bring back the memories of the epic romance and heartbreak you had with Ben? No, because I don't want to do the whole, like, awkward socializing thing. Besides, I only went there for one year. No one probably remembers me anyway. I'll drop their memory. It'll be fine. Fine, Terry. Bet. Now, are you still on for lunch, or are you too busy getting your Annie Leibovitz on? One more look, and I'm done. Sit. Just uh, calling to check in on dad. Call me back when you can. Okay. I love you. Come here. Honey, I'm <laughs> beat. If we're gonna use the rhythm method, babe, we have to follow the rhythm. I want a family, Kevin. So do I, babe, when I'm exhausted. Try again tomorrow night. I can't. I told Terry I was going to that Hammond fundraiser with her tomorrow night because we agreed on tonight. And life happens, Kendra. I don't know what to tell you. Not everything revolves around your schedule. I never said it did. Why, well, you're acting like it. No, I'm not. Bye. First thing tomorrow morning before I go to the studio. <laughs> I have to be back at the hospital for six to relieve the overnight. Maybe it's not the best time to be going for this. Both our schedules are nuts right now. It's never going to be a right time, Kevin. We have to decide to make it the right time. Oh, we'll talk about it when I'm all here. Hello? Hey, Sash. Oh, it was amazing being honored. I kind of can't believe it. How's Dad? Oh, no, no. You? Yeah?
You ready for me? Yep. It's signed and ready to go. Wow. Those are beautiful, Ken. Thanks. Now let's see if I can get a magazine to feature them. All your celebrity editorial work will open doors. Just keep pushing. Thanks. Hey, Liberty. Tonight, or are you gonna meet me there? No. I'm, I'm pretty sweet. Uh -uh, I don't wanna hear it. You owe me. <sighs> Fine. You're killing me, Terry. <laughs> I'll pick you up. I don't trust you to make it there. Okay. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Liberty. You look beautiful. I'm sorry I wasn't up to it last night. I feel really alone in this when you tell me it's not the right time. I thought you wanted this. We talked about this, Kev. I do. I just don't want the stress of this to break us. I've got a biological clock. I know, Vivi. Let me make it up to you. How? Kev knows. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I have to go. I'll make no. it quick. Kev, no. I want to make a baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Girl, this is amazing. Thank you, girl. I'm gonna go make sure your photo's in a place of honor. I'll be right back. So, um, what's new? Oh, since 14 years ago? Everything. <laughs> That's fair. You know, I saw your photograph inside, and I was thinking about bidding on it. Oh, no, no, you don't have to do that. Um, yeah, I know, but I, I want to. I'm really proud of you, Kendra. You're doing exactly what you influential photographer in Chicago. Like, you're really a big shot now. Are you keeping tabs huh? on me, Ben? You keep tabs on me? No, no, me and Terry, we're friends on Facebook, and you know, she um, she just she posts a lot. You know. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, how's the family? Good. Miles is finally settling into high school. We moved out here a couple years ago because of Connie's job, and it has taken him until now. That's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of him. <laughs> and how's Connie? Connie's... Connie. <laughs> and I'm doing her best impression of a helicopter, just micromanaging and chasing the hell out of Miles, like he's still a toddler, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's hard letting go. Yeah. Uh, I, I no. should probably get back. Hey, please. It's really good seeing you. Will you sit with me a minute? What have you been doing with your life besides stalking Terry's Facebook page? <laughs> <laughs> you disappointed in me? No. Come on, Ben, that's impressive. You know, you're an awful liar. I really thought you weren't into law at all. I wasn't. Until I took this communication class that it shifted my perspective. One day the professor was lecturing and he said, 
the best lawyers are the best storytellers and that a person's freedom is really just hinged on who can tell the jury, not just the most convincing or the most compelling story. And I actually thought about you. I'm gonna be a public defender. That's really amazing. <laughs> I mean, only you, only you can figure out how to make your parents happy and not sell yourself. Well, speaking of parents, um, How's your dad? He's okay. Yeah? Actually, no. He's not. He's sick. Heart failure. The doctors are talking about, you know, going the transplant route, but he's just so stubborn. I travel to North Carolina often to visit my parents, and I would love to visit him the next time I'm there. If that's not too weird, of course. I think he'd be very happy to see you. Great. Then... I'll make a hat. Thanks. <laughs> uh, can't you? I really missed you. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Do not. Don't say that. Why not? I've been sitting here playing along while you're pretending like we're buds. I'm not pretending about anything. Are you seriously saying you miss me right now? You're lying. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. It's not a You're... lie. You know what? Look, can you no, just... No, you do not even act like a plague came to your doorstep when the, I came to your... Come on, Kendra. That's not fair. You caught me completely off guard. You showed up to my doorstep unannounced after ignoring me for how many months? It doesn't matter. None of this matters anymore. It's ancient history. We're nothing to each other now. Look, come on, Kendra. But... Take care of yourself, Ben. Seriously, that's how you... Girl, are you ever... I out like the building was on fire. <laughs> I did not... Shut your mouth when you're lying to me. Uh-uh. We just caught up. I mean, I managed to play along with the buddy-buddy vibes for a minute, but homeboy act like he had an aneurysm and said that he missed me. So I dismissed myself. Because he said he missed you? Yes. I'm married. Happily married. Okay, what does one have to do with the other? Terry, no, don't go there. No, it's a Okay. Enough about me. How did the meeting go at the community board? Fine, I think. You know, they're pretty old school, so anything new is like absolute poison to them, but I think I have them interested by the end. In choosing purpose over security, you are truly an inspiration. Ter Terry, <gasps> listen to me. What you're doing is, is so special. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't invest, honestly. Thanks, Ken. I really hope so. Especially now that Tyler got into that private school. <gasps> he did. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, good. it is. The only problem is that even with the scholarship, it's so crazy expensive. Tell his father to contribute. Look, I, I know he wants to do the whole Rolling Stone thing, but one night stand or not, he's still Tyler's father. You shouldn't be the only one making sacrifices. You're right, you know, I'll, I'll ask him. Okay, good. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Hold on, let me look at this. Hey, hey, Sash, what's up? Wait, 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 Sash, slow down, slow down. Is everything no. okay? Oh my God, no, Dad. Sash, come on, no. Hey, Kendra. From the network that brought you flowers in the attic. Don, your parents kidnapped you. And the twisted mind of... How sweet the sound And as we mourn in a own special way we leave behind.
I hate lilies. Yeah, me too. Sunny, Aunt Linda's asking Sunny. I said go say hi. She's been irritable like this since he's passed. She's not eating either. Well, She'll be fine, Sa. So she's just grieving. I hope so. You okay? I'm fine. Just bring those out. Full but fine. I've got some bad news. Oh, Kevin. I know. It's just all this turnover. It's got everyone running around like chickens with their heads cut off. They need me. I need you, Kevin. Okay. I'll tell them no. Just just go. Thank you. Hey. Ben, this is Kevin. Kevin, this is Ben. I'm a husband. Honey, do you need to go pack? Yeah. Folks are looking for you. Mm-hmm. You want to be found? Not really. All right. I don't mind being found by you, though. could have brought Connie along. We're kind of separated now. We're not kind of legally, legally separated. I'm sorry, Ben. I appreciate that. Can I ask you something? The last time we saw each other, when you came to him in that spring, Why'd you come? <sighs> Fine. I came to Hammond to tell you that I wanted to be with you, and you didn't feel the same. You wanted to make it work with Connie, and I made peace with that. <laughs> yeah, that's not the full story. You iced me out, Kendra. All those months, Connie and I were just co-parenting. And I told you that, but for some reason you just... No, did. no, you obviously were, you were lying to yourself and to me because when I left the picture, you fell in love and you got married. I never fell in love with Connie, Kendra. Just don't forget that I never left you. I chose you. Okay? I 
She doesn't want any. I mean, she barely ate the pasta. Mm, say it. How are you? Mom. Mm -hmm. Tired? Sad? A little relieved? Which I feel terrible for saying. You shouldn't feel terrible at all. You were bearing the burden of it this past year. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. You don't need to apologize. You were paying for all of his nurses, all that expensive equipment. But I wasn't here. Well, you are now. She's got him really into Dad's record collection. She's been playing it nonstop. That was her guy, you know? The one consistent man in her life. She's hurting so much and there's nothing I can do. When is Sunny out of school? We're in a couple of weeks. Maybe she can spend the summer with me. The city energy, change of scenery, it might do her some good. Kendra, that's too much. You've been balancing the world on your shoulders for a minute now. Let me take some of that weight off. Okay, look, I'm an idiot. I'm begging for your baby. You're inside other women. Kendra, I'm sorry. Let's just go home and we can talk about I have about nothing this. to say to you right now. Really? Can you do this to me now? My father just died. Okay, look, I'm sorry. Let's just go. Kevin, Let's no, go get out of here. Kendra. 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 Open your door. Flowers in the attic. Don, your parents kidnapped. A new lifetime limited series. My name is Don. You are the girl I fell for back at school. You're my brother. You were my sister, and now you're not. I've been looking at you differently. People still frown on stuff like that. BC Andrews Dawn premiere Saturday, July 8th, only on Lifetime. Love you. I've always wanted to play myself in a movie about my life. This movie tells my story. And I wouldn't trust to tell it anywhere else besides Lifetime. Keisha Cole, This Is My Story, premieres next Saturday at 8 on Lifetime. Just sleep. Let me get you some coffee. 
Stop tossing the ball on the table. Nice arm, little man. Thanks, Godma. Tyler, baby, okay, thanks for school. I'm so sorry, Kat. You know, you can stay here as long as you need. I have to talk to him before Sonny gets here. What is there to talk about? You caught him red-handed. He's still my husband, Terry. Yeah. What about you? Hmm? Huh? What's fair to you? I'm not a quitter. It's not quitting, Ken. It's respecting yourself enough to not let someone mistreat you. Ken, don't. Terry. Terry, I'm good. It's, it, good things, they're hard sometimes. Just because they're hard doesn't make them good. Come on. Just, okay. just... Hello, Kevin. <sighs> Weeks? A uh, month? Do you love her? No. No, it was just sex. Why? Why would you risk what we have for- I was just feeling so much pressure with the fertility stuff, and we were both working nonstop. There's no excuse. I betrayed you. Yeah, you did. You broke my trust, and I don't know how this is going to work without it. We vowed for better or for worse. Let me regain your trust. Can you let me do that? We owe it to each other to fight for this. We're fighters. Have you done this before? No. Kevin, tell me the truth. I've never broken our marriage vows before. Never. You need to end it. I already did. And I swear, Kevin, if you ever do this again... Never. Ever again. Thank you for not giving up on us. I'm sorry. Nice, ladies, this way, this way for me. Thank you, looks good. One more, it's a little more movement. Attitude, three more shots. Here we go, yes, nice. Let's do a different setup. Thank you, Liberty. How you doing, you okay? I'm so sorry I had to bring you straight in from the airport, but I'm almost done and we'll get you home and settle. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have touched any of oh, you do not have to apologize. You ever used one of those before? No. Mostly everything is digital nowadays, but there's something pretty special about film. It takes a lot more labor to get a good picture, but it makes it that much more valuable. To me. Anyways, I'm telling you good things, it takes work. Cool. I can... Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> Thank you. Come here. Oh. I hear pulled pork's your favorite. Is that true? Yeah. Lucky for you, I made my famous pulled pork and coleslaw sandwiches. I'll show you to your room. You can get fresh and up and eat. Come on. <laughs> Top of the stairs to your left.
camera you got there? It's actually in Kendra, so she's teaching me how to use it. <laughs> You listen to old school hip hop? Oh yeah, all the time. It's basically all my mom and aunt listen to. Have you checked out the upstairs yet? Want me to show you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, how you been holding up? Oh, I'm okay. Oh. Um, I'm oh, sorry, I gotta take Yeah, go. Hey, uh, I, I can't talk right now. No, no, that's not what we agreed upon. No, but no, this is this is exactly why we agreed to mediation to avoid this. It's childish. Everything all right? Um, me and Connie are just officially getting divorced. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. Yeah, she's just being spiteful. She's um. She's telling me the lawyer up threatening that she's gonna file for sole custody of Miles. Why? She's angry. She's saying I've given up and I stopped fighting. But honestly, I don't even got no more fight left in me. How did you know that it was time to stop fighting? Oh, I guess when the respect leaves, the one contempt just. Sorry, you're going through that then. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Hey. What'd you That's find? That's a lot of birthday worth of hours <laughs> you got there. Dang, you, you could just grab her stuff. Oh, no, Ben, no, you don't have to do that. It's fine, it's fine. If she ever wants a hip-hop head to hang out with, I'm sure Miles would not mind. <laughs> Surgery went long. Ben. Ben? Yeah, Ben. We ran into him today at the record shop. So, Sonny and Miles, they really hit it off. I don't know. I just think it would be really good for her to hang out with someone else other than me while she's here. So, we're trying to set something up. Is that all right with you? <sighs> it's fine. Good. Because... I got you something. Here. Yeah. Oh, you too. Oh, my God. You're pregnant. We're having a baby. <laughs> Come on, my God. I'm Keisha Cole, the executive producer of my new Lifetime movie. I've always wanted to play myself in a movie about my life. This movie tells my story. And I wouldn't trust to tell it anywhere else besides life. I mean, it's just so different from your own. to be seen in such a light, you know? Sad, tired, however, these people allowed me to catch them in their most authentic moments. And to me, that is the most beautiful subject you can get. I want to take photos like these. Kendra, how was your agent calling? Is everything all right? In Vogue wants you to shoot the cover for the September issue. What? That is the biggest issue of the year. It is. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> it's a great thing. It's a great thing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call your publicist really quick. Thank you. Congrats. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Yes. Let me make a call. This is wow. <laughs> These are beautiful. Oh, hey, babe. I thought you were working late tonight. Mm. I told Matt to celebrate with my wife. I'll excuse myself. <laughs> I'm taking you out to celebrate and vote you and me. Oh, no, baby, I, I can't. I I'm taking Sonny over to Ben's to hang with Miles tonight. <laughs> well, why are you gonna hang around? Just drop her off. <laughs> it's a movie night. We already planned it. Well, then break the plans, Kendra. Or are you telling me you'd rather spend the evening with Ben or No, no, no. Of course not. Um, I'm sorry. You're right. So we can drop Sonny off at Ben's, yeah. Good. All right. I'll be right back. Hey, 
Hey. Uh, Miles is just, he's just right down the hall. Miles, Sonny's here. You look great. Come on in. I'm so sorry. I, I can't stay tonight. Oh, why not? Kevin and I were celebrating. Hey, celebrating what? I got asked to shoot the September cover of Invoke. Wow, Kendra, that's that's huge. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Wow, uh, you, you a big shot. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry. I should go, Kevin. He's waiting for me. Of course. Uh, okay. Just enjoy yourself. All right. Hey. Hey. Oh, she's in Miles' room right now. I'll go get her. Oh, thanks. Oh, I brought you guys desserts. <laughs> Thank you. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll just make yourself at home. I'll be right back. She's coming. How was dinner? It was good. Oh, that's that's pretty weird, right? What is? The fact that I still have that up is hanging there. Technically, it's not hanging. It's just kind of leaning up there, you know. <laughs> you want to sit? Yeah. Oh, you're working late. I see. Yeah, I've been prepping for this sentencing hearing I got coming up. <laughs> uh, should I be worried? You sound a little stressed out over there. Everything good? <sighs> no, I'm just representing this. This kid, he actually just turned 18. He's a first time offender. First time, that's good, isn't it? Not with this judge. This judge has a record of exorbitant videos. What are those? Basically, these 10 to 20 minute videos that are compilations of interviews of folks speaking on the character of their clients. And they're said to have a really high success rate in swaying the judges and securing less harsh sentences. So, you should do one for this kid. He can't afford it. I mean, between the equipment and the editing? Let me do it. <laughs> what? If you haven't heard, I'm pretty good with the camera. This could really change this kid's life. Let's make sure it does. I just, um, I had a few things on the end. And... Thank you, Ken. What? You just, you're the only other person outside of my family who calls me Ken. I just, I like it. Good. Let me treat you to dinner. <laughs> no. No, like, like just, uh, it's a thank you for your services since you won't let me pay for anything. No, you don't have to do that. It was fun for me. Yeah, it was fun for me too. <laughs> to convince him. No, don't get me wrong. I am literally so lucky to be making a living as a photographer. It's just, I'm just so happy you're letting me help you out with these videos. It feels good to do work that I love and know that it matters to someone other than just me. You could take pictures of some of my other clients too if you want. I'm sure they'd love to have their portrait taken by Kendra Evans. Actually, that is <laughs> not a bad idea. I know. Wow. That's my idea. Okay. <laughs> Hi, baby. Where you been? How's that work, finishing up those videos with Ben? It's late. Yeah, it's the final. There are other clients of his who need the same service. Have you eaten? Yeah. With Ben? Is... That a problem? I just don't love the idea of my wife out late and alone with a cat she used to date. Kev, that was over a decade ago. We're friends. It's irrelevant to me. <laughs> okay, you being suspicious of me is a bit unfair, don't you think? So you're trying to rile me up. Is that it? Punish me for what I did? Me living my life is not retaliation, Kev. Invite him over. What? Oh, of course. Yeah. So glad you can come tonight. Let me pour you another glass. <clears throat> oh, 
Honey, maybe we should try some water. I'm fine. We're all having fun, right? Mm. So, Kendra says the hearing went well. It did. It's appropriate. And that's all we wanted. So the video helped. It did. That kid would have lost years of his life instead of months if it weren't for Ken. Thank you. Ken. <laughs> Ask you. You sure you don't want anything to drink in? I'm good. Well, she can't drink in her state. Kevin. Oh, wait, are, are you pregnant? I just found out. <laughs> we didn't just find out. It's been a few weeks. They're having a baby, Auntie? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Congrats. Thank you. Well, I'm really excited. Uh, you had Miles in college, yeah? Yep, I, I got my gift early. Oh, that must have been hard, you know, being a kid, raising a kid. It's hard enough not to mess them up when you're a grown-up. Kevin. Age is just one aspect of maturity, but it's not all of it. I know a lot of childish grown-ups. Where's your wife? She really should have come. Okay. I think it's time for some dessert. Uh, my bad. Kendra told me you were getting a divorce. Ah, that's too bad, ma'am. But I guess it makes sense. You can't really expect a happy ending off of a show. Thanks, Miss Kendra. Can you wait for me in the car? I am so sorry. Sorry about what? For his behavior. His behavior isn't your responsibility. B well, you did not deserve that. Why didn't you tell me about the baby? I, I'm, I'm not sure. All right, um, I'm just gonna give you some space. But why, I, why, I don't need space. You embarrassed me. Excuse me? You hurt me, Kevin. You embarrassed me, insinuating I had too much to drink, making eyes at Ben the whole night. I was not making eyes at Ben. You were flirting with him right in front of me. I was not flirting with him, Kevin. He is my friend. Friend's my ass. OK, you better lower your voice right now. Because... Don't tell me to lower my voice in my own house. You're punishing me. Kevin, I'm punishing sick of you, punishing you, Kevin. me. You're throwing this guy in my face. It was your idea to invite him. Are you screwing him? What? You heard me. Is this baby even mine? Is everything okay? How dare you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're fine, honey. We're just having a conversation. I'm Keisha Cole, the exec. Mm. The budget is stretched out too thin. Oh, I am so sorry, girl. Oh, it's fine. Mm. My offer still stands for Tyler's tuition, okay? You know, his dad actually agreed to cover it. What? Cheers. Oh, yeah, I mean, what he should be doing anyways. I'm just glad you didn't have to fight him on it. Yeah, I know. How's the dust settling after the big blowout? Is Kevin so laughing and stupid? He is... He's just so convinced that me and Ben still have a thing for each other. It's ridiculous. Is it the... Terry. Kendra. Terry! No, you're gonna tell me spending all this time alone with Ben isn't bringing up any feelings for you. Of course it does sometimes. I'm human. I have a beautiful life. I'm married. I'm pregnant. This is my life, and I am okay with that. Or Sunny? She's spending the night at Liberty's. Do you know what this $3,300 wire from our chicken was for? Oh, I uh, sent Jesse some money, just a loan to fix her car. You know, she's been struggling ever since she got laid off. Why didn't you talk to me about this? Because you're my wife, not my mother. I don't have to ask for permission to take care of my sister. Uh, hold on. I'm not saying Wow, you're... you are. Dick, I'm not doing this with you. Hey, Jesse, how are you? Good, good, good. I'm sorry to call you so late. I was just calling to see if you got your car sorted. 
No, Kevin, he, he told me... Oh, no. No, girl, I, I must have misheard him. Uh, okay, okay, we will do. Bye-bye. Hello, yes, it's Kendra Evans. I'm wondering if you can give me the name of a payee of... Thirty-three hundred dollars. Are you sure that's the right? Yeah, yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, no, that's all. All right, thank you. Talking about. I know that wire was for Tyler. Hey, hey let's let's talk about nope, this. Nope, there's nothing to talk about. Baby, I down. want you out. We're having a baby. You can't do this on your own. You need own. to call a car. What? I said you need to call a car. Yours isn't really in working condition right now. What did you do? Let's go see. You're upset, I get it. Can we just get in the-
I'll come back for the rest. When I'm not here. Kendra, I'm sorry. I'm tired of sorry. Aren't you tired of being sorry? You sure you don't need me to take Sunny to the airport? Yes, I'm sure. I'm done needing you, Kevin. I love you, Kendra. I know. But I'm realizing it's just not enough. It's not enough, Kevin. Hey. Hey. Is your car here? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want me to stay for a little longer? I can't take you away the whole summer. Your mom needs some sunny time, too, now. Yeah? Look, I'm fine, okay? I promise. Text me when you get to the airport. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, no, 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 no. You keep this. It's yours. I can't draw. I can't. Yes. You can go. It's in good hands. Now, would you go take some pretty pictures? Yeah. I'm sorry you lost your baby. You would have been a great mom. Okay, go. No, don't miss your flight. Get out of here. Bye. Later. I love you. I love you too. You're alive. Why are you here? Why are you even bothering me? The invoke shoot was today, Kendra. You missed it. Let's go. All right. Oh. They're gone. Everyone's left. What? Why did, why did you call me? Why did you call? Liberty? I'm calling you, but you didn't answer. Flowers in the attic. Don, your parents kidnapped you. And the twisted mind of V.C. Andrews. 
Nice. Great. <laughs> These are great. Thanks. Why did you choose this as a subject? Oh, well, the prompt is to capture an essential element of our environment. So. All right, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret someone taught me a long time ago. If you want it to you. <laughs> Where have y'all been? Oh, we've just been working on photos for my college application. Oh, and can we order pizza tonight, Mom? Already one step ahead of you. Wash your hands, set the table. Uh, taking photos always helps me feel like myself, which is exactly what I needed. You know, it feels really good to be home. I didn't realize how much I missed it. Well, we've missed you. Thanks for helping put me back together. You put yourself back together, Ken. We just handed you the glue stick. <laughs> Ooh, I love this song. Me too. Turn it. Oh, try not to throw your back out, old lady. Oh, shush. <laughs> uh. Hey, do you have change for you? Oh, okay. I'm, I didn't mean to show up unannounced like that, but I've just been worried. How did you know I was in town right Your assistant, now? Um, Liberty, she told me what happened. Ah. Oh. I'm so sorry, Ken. Thanks. Yeah. Are you, are you visiting your parents, or...? I, you brought me to town, Kendra. Oh, uh, hello, Benjamin. Hey. Thought you were the pizza guy. <laughs> nah, sorry to disappoint you. You staying for the pizza party, Ben? I know, Sonny would love that. I would love to if... Come in. All right. Well, I guess I'll let you go. Hey, would you um want to come to a barbecue with me on Saturday? A barbecue? Yeah, my parents are having their annual end of the summer soiree. Right? <laughs> Your parents? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure they want me to come? Oh, oh my God, come on, Kendra. That was like years ago. They love to see you now. Oh, okay, they'd like to see you. <laughs> okay, well, that's better. Sure. Yeah? I'll see you. There he is. Hey, good to see you, man. Yes, sir. You too. Is this Kendra? Uh, nice to see you, Calvin. I always knew it was you. I told him that. <laughs> what, what was that? What are you saying? I'm telling you the truth. How you been? I heard you're a big time photographer now. All right. Can you stop <laughs> pressing her, man. She haven't even had a drink yet. Where's your manners, Calvin? I apologize. You're right. Let's see you from this drought. Let's see. Uh, it's her weekend. Have we heard anything back about the custody hearing? Uh, not yet, but um, can we not have this conversation now? Kendra. Hi. Oh, oh, so nice seeing you. It's lovely to see you. 
Did anyone offer you a drink? Uh, who raised you? Wolves? Well, actually, we were about to. <laughs> yeah, like... All right, I'll take it. My husband will be thrilled to see you. Do okay. you play cornhole? Not recently. <laughs> okay, so we have some punch and we have some wine. Question, did your mom by chance hit her head before I got here because she's like a completely different person? <laughs> oh, she was... Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I mean, she's good now. Because sickness has this way of changing you for the better if you allow it. It teaches you what's really important in life and how quick everything could just go like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're also a breath of fresh air considering all the Connie drama. Your niceness is going a long way right now. Nice? Oh, you think I'm not yeah. nice? I, yeah, I, you, you're pretty kind <laughs> to me, Kenny. You've always been kind to me. So, uh, you and Kevin... You guys are done, done. Yeah. Um, may I ask why? Tyler's Kevin's son, too. You're kidding me. I, I get so embarrassed that it even took me that long to figure it out. <sighs> Ugh. And learn. Learn what? Learn that I can change my mind. I was just so determined to make it work with Kevin, and I wasn't willing to concede that I had chose wrong even when I was hurting. God. Sometimes being strong isn't forcing something to be right that isn't. Sometimes being strong is just surrendering. What? Huh? I definitely didn't okay. say that, it, it, but yeah. I'll let you have it. Hey. Mm -hmm. It was fun, though. It was fun. I'm so Look, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. I'm not the 18-year-old girl you fell in love with, Ben. I just got out of a marriage. I lost a baby. I'm not asking you to be anywhere other than where you are. Impossible not to be nervous when you're marrying someone you don't know. I hope you are ready for this. This season. If you don't want to do this, we'll get you out of here. I could run right now. Runs on drama. I don't want to marry a stranger. An all new season of Married at First Sight. Coming soon. Only on Lifetime. Want it at the terms you want. Period. And the terms just got better. Select new 2023 Ram 1500 Bighorn and Laramie models with cash allowance up to $6,980. Select new 2022 Ram 2500 and 3500 models with 2000 Ever guess you'd be back here? I pray for him. I love you, Kendra. You know that? It scares me. <laughs> what? Because we tried that already. Just, just be patient with me, okay? Maybe 15 years, What's 
15 more for these men. Ah, look who decided to grace us with her presence. You eat? Mm-hmm. Uh, remind me to get... <laughs> now, tell me the dirt. Did you... I oh. knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I'm not even divorced yet. He's not even divorced yet. So? It's too soon, Sash. What is it too soon for? To get hurt? <laughs> Just, I don't want to jump into something and ruin it. If that happened with Ben, I, ugh, I don't think I will recover from that. You've been through so much these past few months. All the time you need. Just make sure you're not confusing healing with avoiding. Oh, yeah, let's, let's go another room. <sighs> What's going on? So, the judge denied Connie full custody? That's good. That's good news. That's a relief. Yeah, but uh, that's not all the news. Connie managed to convince the judge to grant her permission to move Miles to North Carolina since that's where her support system is. You're kidding me. I wish. So, what are you gonna do? I don't wanna have to hop on a flight to see my son. Right. But he only has two more years left of high school. So then I'll be back in Chicago with you, right? And I, you know what? I'm not gonna leave until Thanksgiving, so that's gonna give me enough time to wrap things up and it's gonna give us more time. We'll be able to get through this. Of course. Hello, I'm Keisha Cole, the executive producer of my new Lifetime movie. I've always wanted to play myself in a movie about my life. This movie tells my story. Premiere Saturday, June 24th on... Are together. Yeah, we are. I'm so happy for you. I know what you mean. How's Tyler? <sighs> He's good. Tell him I said hi and that I really miss him. He misses you. I miss you too. If you would have just would have been honest and just told me the truth. 
I'm not sure if I would have been able to understand, but I, I really would have tried. I'm really sorry, Ken. And those aren't just words. I really hope you know that. I forgive you, Terry. I, I try not to. Do you think we'll ever... Kendra? I have to go. Should run on Terry. <laughs> yeah, a little. Mostly just thinking about how quickly life changes. I mean, you and I, we weren't even talking. I'll be here every six weeks, just like we planned, Kendra. And come on, plans don't work. Trust me, I've learned the hard way. Hey, go, wait. come here, come here, come here. Look. Look, long distance didn't work for us last time. Why would this time be any different? Of course it's gonna be different. We both know what we want now. That doesn't guarantee us anything, but nothing's guaranteed. Okay, hey, just... Can you look at me? I love you. I'm exhausted, okay? I should just go. No, you shouldn't. You're being an 18 year old Kendra all over again. Just running, right? Just fly out for the big shoes. 